guys, this is Lei. As promised, I said that I will make a tutorial video on how to use texture on Photoshop. Alright, so I have my texture and my photo ready. Um, okay, we'll see. I think this is too bright, so I'm going to go on my image and click on adjustments and brightness and contrast. I'm just going to change my brightness a little bit, adjust it. There I go. There. Again guys, what I'm doing is how I personally do it. So, I'm sure most most of you, you know, a lot of you know it's a different way, different ways actually and um I'm just, well, all I'm showing is how I do it, okay? So, I'm click um I have my texture here. I have it selected. To select that, okay, I'm showing you. To select your photo, it's just click on command A so you have it selected and then command C and then let's go to our photo and then click command V to paste and click command T so we can free transform our photo there you go and just click enter alright let's go to our blending modes over here we these are our blending modes. We have normal dissolve, darken, multiply, color burn, linear burn, darker color, and different, etc., etc. So I'm going to use for this particular photo is hard light. Yep, hard light. So um, see, it ha you have your layer on top of your photo. You're like, oh no, what happened? Okay, this is what we want. We wanted to add drama to it, but of course we don't want to cover Zion's face. So click on your eraser tool. I love you too, Zion. Click on your eraser tool. And then you have your brush there. Just make it bigger. There. And just start erasing the texture it's covering the beautiful face of Zion. Here you go. There. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure that your op op <laughs> opacity is in a hundred and your flow is in a hundred. So. Okay. We want to erase all of that. You know what, guys? The first time I used texture, I'm like, uh, I'm not sure if I liked it. But the more I use it on my photos, it's so addicting. It's like I cannot, of course, I cannot is a strong word, but sometimes photos are not complete or it just doesn't have the same drama or same effect without the texture. Okay. Changed our brush again. There. You want to be careful in those corners there. You know, if you have to change your opacity and um, you do that. Okay, so there you go. If you're wondering what's that noise, that is Zion playing with my iPhone. I changed the opacity, so, so you want to hit those little crazy hair out there. I can cut that, and but I don't want to do it because he's a boy and he's supposed to have a crazy hair. Okay, so there we have it. We have our texture there. And you know, if that is too much for you, what you can also do is to go to your layer, make sure that your um, texture is highlighted, and then click on the opacity and just, there you go. Just move your slider there. You can have it as strong or as low as much as you can. You know, whatever you desire, whatever you feel like. Okay, I'm comfortable with this. And also, you can play with your blending modes. You know, if you want it like 
overlay. It's there, but it's not there, or you want it soft light. You know, you can, you can definitely play with your blending modes, and that's the secret with textures. You can even go to your screen, see this. I like that. It just kind of look looking vintage looking. Um, you can also click on multiply. It's kind of like the link, the hard light. And then I kind of like this. You know, click on the multiply and just change her opacity on whatever strength you want. There, I kind of like a hundred, but you know, it just basically that's it. You just play with the blending modes and opacity, and you'll be just fine. Alright guys, I hope that helps, and let me know if there's anything else I can do for you. Um, I would love to help. Just leave me a comment or send me a message, and I'll answer. I'll try and answer some of your questions, if I know it. <laughs> and if not, I'll be honest with you, we'll Google it together. Okay, so don't be scared to try and just, you know, trial and error is still the best thing to do. Alright guys, thanks and um, I'll talk to you guys soon again. Bye!